Hello everyone, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. So make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, it's another weekly vlog. We're kicking off the vlog in Miami. We're gonna end the vlog in New York. Yes, I know you all love a, you know, Miami, New York vlog. Today I have a facial and then I'm getting my nails done. I have to straighten my hair. Tomorrow we're flying to New York for the Mugler H&M fashion show and party. Ah, it's gonna be fun, y'all. Um, I have a panel I'm speaking on with um, NYC Times Clothes Studios where we're talking about um, influencing in the age of algorithms. Um, that's gonna be in Brooklyn. I'm probably gonna go on a date. Um, we going out to eat. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so get your coffee, get your tea, get your wine, get your snacks. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because you know it's going to be good. Alright guys, so I just did my makeup, super clean basic face, back of my skin dress, my Cafe Kitsune Tumblr from Essence. Um, and I'm about to film like a spring dress, birthday dress haul video. I'm still thinking of the titles, like I'm trying to come up with more titles that are attention grabbing without being uh what's the word uh bait clip bait um i don't like doing those kind of titles i want people to know exactly what they're gonna get when they watch one of my videos so i keep it real basic with the titles but i'm feeling like i gotta step it up i gotta do something so i can get the rest of these 15,000 subscribers so i can get my 100,000 sub subscribers so i can get my plaque y'all know I'm, I'm ready for my plaque so yeah i have a ton of dresses I'm about to try those on for the video and then, then film the sit down portion. Um, that video is gonna go live before this one. So if you wanna see a few dresses that I will be wearing for my birthday month, which is May, Taurus, stand up. Watch that video because I know y'all, you know, some of the people who watch the vlogs don't watch the sit down videos and I need y'all to converge, yes. All right, let's go do that. All right guys, so these are all the dresses I'll be trying on. This one I already have had for a while. This is from Rat and Boa. I have a dress from Sir, a dress from Aya. That's a new brand that I'm feeling that I think y'all would like. Jacqueline Moose, one of my favorites. Norma Kamali does vacation wear. Incredible. Gonna try all of these things on. Here is the box. Everything came in. I'll link all of these things down below. And a few more of my favorites from My Teresa. They have such incredible dresses. If you're going on a vacation, someplace tropical, for the holidays, for the summer, for the spring. Their dress collection is insane. So I'm just gonna link a bunch of my favorites down below in the description box. Click on the links, check them out. I'll have all different price points for you all. Uh, so yeah, I have about, I think it's 8.30. I have about three hours before my facial um, at the Miami Edition Hotel, one of my favorite hotels in Miami Beach. They also have Matador Room Restaurant, which is incredible. I've taken you guys there before. And they have a bowling alley and a skating rink downstairs. I've been to a few parties down there. Y'all gotta watch the vlogs, because I be taking y'all everywhere, I really do. I have a few hours to try on all of these outfits, film the sit down portion, and then head over there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a crack in. I'll check back in once we're done. All right guys, so for this video, I'm gonna use my new camera, my Canon um, R6 with the 35 millimeter lens. What I notice is when I'm moving with this, it doesn't work that well. It's great for sitting down. It does have good focus. So I'm gonna actually try and film me trying on the clothes with this and hope that it goes well. Uh, yeah, this, the photos on this, so crisp. Ah, I love this camera. I'll link it down below in case any of you are interested. And remember, you can check out uh, MPB website. I did a collab with them during New York Fashion Week for discounted prices on cameras, bodies, lenses, all the things. I'll link them down below. All right, so let me set this up. And the light in here is kind of wonky in the morning, so I have to make sure everything looks good. I'll link my tripod too because I know a lot of you are always asking about which tripod I have. Hey y'all, so I just finished filming the fashion video. It's gonna be like the top six dress brands that I'm loving for spring and summer, including and other stories with this pink dress. But yeah, I just finished filming. It's about 11.30 and I have a massage um, at 
12 so i probably need to get ready to head out let me tell you more information about this okay so i'm heading to the addition south beach to have a manuka honey massage <laughs> um and this is for neuropathica which has an upcoming manuka honey body lotion and body exfoliant coming out i thought it was going to be a facial but it's actually a massage so i'm happy i don't have to take my makeup off <laughs> I am going to head to the bungalow suite at the Addition Hotel for a 60 minute massage, which is great because Lord knows my body is hurting after biking and working out the other day. I'm actually kind of frazzled and sad because I ordered my birthday gift for myself from What Goes Around Comes Around. You guys know they have incredible designer bags and such. And I ordered this bag and they canceled my order. I've been waiting 11 days. They waited 11 days to tell me that they canceled my order. And I'm really kind of disappointed because I've given them so many of my, so much of my coins. Like, why would nobody tell me my order was canceled? I didn't receive a canceled order form. I've just been sitting here waiting for my package. Y'all, and now I believe the thing that I wanted is sold out and I'm pissed. But we move. <laughs> we move. Uh, the dresses and other stories, the earrings are Bottega drop earrings. Um, the face is my regular face. The lip is Riri Gloss Bomb. Um, oh, the battery died. I had to replace the battery in you guys. Um, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put on something very comfy. Um, I'm going to call a car and we're going to head to the addition to get this Manuka Honey Massage, y'all. I can't wait. Your girl needs it. All right, let's do it. Y'all, I'm really in my feelings about my birthday present to myself. Now I got to find a new, a new present. Anywho, I put on this black uh, Razorback, is it a Razorback? Yeah, dress from ALC, super plain dress. I love it for just when I'm on the go. The earrings are the little silver heart earrings from Oscar De La Renta. You would have seen them in my jewelry video. If y'all didn't watch my, my jewelry video, y'all missing out. I know some of y'all are just like vlog people, fashion people. You don't want to see the other little stuff, but... It was some gems in that video. For the bag, we're gonna go with my classic flap and denim that I got from What Goes Around Comes Around, and now it's making me even more upset that I get, didn't get my gift. Matching Hermes sandals. By the way, Steve Madden has an incredible dupe of these. I'll link the dupe and I'll link these just in case. Let's put on a fragrance i'm feeling flirty fun and very miami today so we're gonna go with joe malone wood sage and sea salt is one of my favorites super affordable and it just gives me tropical clean vibes and when i first moved to miami this is all i wore so anytime i spray this it reminds me of my old apartment so i'll be sure to link this down below because a few of you have asked about my joe malone fragrance this one is the one I wear the most, wood, sage, and sea salt. I'll link it down below. It's very fresh. It's very summer, tropical vacation, and I like that. All right, so that's the look for today. Let me grab a sunglass. Ah! We're gonna go with my Bottegas, because they have the silver in them. All right, and we're gonna head to the Miami edition for my massage, let's call a car. All right guys, here's the full look. ALC dress, I'll link it down below. I'm wearing a medium. Bottega sunglasses, um, Oscar De La Renta earrings, denim Chanel classic flap, um, Hermes sandals, but there's a dupe at Steve Madden that I've linked down below. And that's the look. I'll also link a few more denim bags that I'm loving for spring and summer that are a lot more affordable than this one. All right, guys, car is on the way. Let's go get a massage, a Manuka honey massage.
right guys, here at the standard, heading to the bungalow for my natural Pathica Manuka Honey Massage. It's so beautiful in here. Is just leaving my naturopathica manuka honey massage they gave me some products the room is stunning it's a bungalow here at the standard um addition no at the addition sorry i always get the names mixed up anywho incredible massage um i'll show you the products when i get back home but now i'm gonna eat i'm probably gonna eat here the light's better this way so i'm gonna eat um, I'm gonna eat here and then I'm gonna head to get my nails done. Uh, so yeah, wow, that was really cool learning more about the brand as well. I'll put all of the products down below. Everything is natural. You guys know I already love Manuka Honey Mask anyway. So this was just perfect. Uh, how do I get down? There you go. Let's find some food. Y'all, I'm thinking about getting a bungalow here for my birthday because stunning. Wow. listening to a little you um by lloyd featuring lil wayne um i saw him at a club once in new york city anywho let me get the light right there we go so i ended up going to the miami edition hotel one of my favorite hotels on the beach it's so stunning in there oh my god um so i went to the natural pathica a bungalow suite that they got at the hotel where they were doing massages to celebrate the launch of their Manuka, Manuka Honey products. And if you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I love Manuka Honey. Um, I usually buy a jar of Manuka Honey uh, from either New Zealand, Australia, somewhere over there. And I do a mask maybe like twice a month. Um, and so I love that they have Manuka Honey products. It has incredible... Um, just in not ingredients what's the word i'm looking for properties to like help with your skin so they came out with a shower body exfoliator as well as a like lotion a moisturizer um and they did a massage that included first doing the scrub and then last with the lotion and i absolutely loved it it was so good everything is natural um I'll be sure to link the products down below so that you all can check them out. They're super light, have just a slight smell that's really great and super cute packaging. So they gifted me with the creamy body lotion and the exfoliant um, shower body exfoliator. Can't wait to use these. I might actually take these with me to New York. 
Um, and they also gave me a few other gifts. So let me show you what I got. I have their Oat Cleansing Facial Polish, which is cool. What else? Sweet Cherry Brightening Enzyme Peel. I love when they use like fruits that have natural properties that will like exfoliate your skin. Um, they have Sweet Cherry Enzyme Peel. They have, oh, they gave me two of those. A Sweet Cherry Brightening Enzyme Peel for like getting rid of the hyperpigmentation which is great there's one more thing in here which is the manuka honey cleansing balm to like take your makeup off and such so yeah i can't wait to get into these things oh i forgot one aloe vera cleansing gel Ooh, love that okay i will link all of these products down below shout out to naturopathica for inviting me for a incredible massage at the edition and now i want to get a room at the edition for my birthday Usually I get a room at like the one or even over at East. No, this year it's the addition. I need that view. That view was stunning. Um, the massage was really, really great. So after that, I went to Henna Nail, International Nail and Spa to get my, my normal uh, Manny Petty. I got white on my nails, on my toenails, and then I got the Gel Nail Passion OPI. It's very natural looking, which I like, so that if it chips, you know, you can't really tell. It's my favorite from OPI. I'll link it down below. And while I was there, I had two drinks. They always get you full up on Prosecco. Oh, after I got my massage, I did have lunch at the restaurant at the Miami edition. I got a chicken sandwich, some fries. To be honest, that little restaurant that they have out in the front is not that good. And I've eaten there maybe three times and each time it wasn't that great. The drinks are good. But the restaurant Matador room in the back, delicious. But they're not open yet because I think they're only open for dinner. So I went to lunch at the place in front and it's never good. I don't know why I went there, but whatever. It's a cute little vibe. But the food is better at Matador Room, like 100%. So, yeah, that's my day so far. I need to answer a few emails. And then I need to clean up all of the stuff that I tried on for my previous, like, spring dress, summer dress video. Because y'all can't see it, but behind y'all is a mess. Um, I need to clean that up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pack, because I'm leaving out at about 11 a.m. tomorrow to fly to New York so I don't need a lot I do have a New York wardrobe and it looks it's looking like it's only going to be between the 60s and 70s while I'm there so I'm not going to need anything hot <laughs> from here but I'll pr probably take a few pair of boots that I have here uh, and we'll pack and then I'm going to wash my hair tonight as well I'm going to blow dry it straight two strand twist it on a stretched hair and I'm gonna take it out tomorrow once I land in New York uh, to get ready for the H&M Mooglair show and party ah, ah, ah. I'm so excited about this you guys I just got an email and it's looking like it's gonna be lit and I can't wait to take you guys with me <laughs> alright I will link everything down below I'm gonna chill for a bit and I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours but if you're enjoying the video thus far go ahead and give it a thumbs up by the way i've i had a drink at the edition and i had two drinks while i was getting my nails done and i'm done i'm tipsy this is horrible how am i gonna last like my liver is so pure right now and i need to get it back to like a tolerance level or else i'm not gonna survive my birthday like <laughs> i can't even tell y'all was it last year that i got so sick on my birthday boat because i drank so much <laughs> I literally came home and threw up and I told everybody they had to leave. I don't want that to happen this year, but also I don't want to have just one drink and then just be like ready to bust it open on a handstand. You guys, I gotta do something about this. Anywho, I'll check back in with you guys soon. Hey y'all, so it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I'm all packed for New York. I'm just taking a small carry on and my Reeve Ghost tote. I just straightened my hair. I washed and uh, 
blow straight my hair not bone straight but pretty straight um and a lot of you never get to see my hair like this because i rarely wear it like this it will not last this straight <laughs> in miami um but yeah it's not bone straight but let me show you what i use to get my 4c hair like this because i think in the previous vlog you all saw how my hair is about this tall when it's wet <laughs> <laughs> the shrinkage is real so let me show you what I use the two well three products I use to get my hair this straight I'm gonna two strand twist it on dry hair with a little bit of product so I can get a wavy look and it's gonna shrink a little bit more I like that look better than the straight look because this just will not last um, so let me show you the products so to get my hair straight I use this little brush it's the infinity pro by con air the knot doctor um and really it takes me about i would say i started at what 9 30 it's about 10 15. it takes me about 45 minutes to get my whole hair straight because i go in sections um, but i love this thing it is incredible i'll link it down below now, after i wash my hair i slather it in this leave-in conditioner which i love it is as i am leave-in conditioner with coconut um amla sugar beetroot green tea lemon apple sugar cane it's incredible uh so yeah this helps to just keep my hair nice and conditioned then i slather my hair in this section by section i get it nice and wet while my hair is still wet this is the briogeo farewell frizz blow dry perfection um and heat protectant cream this is also a black owned business i love this stuff i slather each section of my hair in this and then I go through and detangle with this kind of brush. And I like this one because it's very, these move. Each little spoolie moves. So it's not breaking any hair. It's really just going with the rhythm of your hair. And this is from Carisio. Um, but any brush will do. But I just like this one because it's very easy on your hair. And like literally I did my whole head. And this was the only hair that came out. So, in addition to the Briogeo, I do sometimes coat the hair in this right before I start blow drying it. So I'll use the Briogeo first, I'll detangle with the brush, and then I'll go through with just maybe like two spritz of this in my hand, which is the Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It magically transforms your texture. It's a great uh, heat protectant. Um, I'll link this down below. And that's it. As you can see, my hair is already reverting, <laughs> already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of product in. I'm gonna two strand flat twist it this way and four twist. Um, I'll show you the product I use for that. And then I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm going to wear a hat to the airport. And I'll take this out once I'm in my apartment in Harlem where the humidity is low <laughs> and where my hair will last. Harlem. Um, I'm in New York for the next couple of days because I have a few events. I have a panel that I'm on and I have a gig for work. So yeah, I flew in this morning from Miami. It was a very uneventful flight. I met a super nice lady who sat next to me the whole time. She was nervous about flying. And so 
we spent most most of the time like praying uh, but and me reassuring her but i mean sometimes that's how it is i'm actually not the best flyer but i fly so much i've gotten used to it but i remember what it feels like to be like deathly afraid when you hit a little turbulence anywho um i got myself ready i'm about to head to the h&m Mugler show and party i'm excited because i know some of my girls some of my friends and fellow content creators will be there um let me show you guys my outfit i've actually worn this exact <laughs> outfit previously but i did not get a photo in it um i wore it to the Mugler exhibit back in november 2022 um, at the Brooklyn Museum that was really really fun it rained I didn't get to take a picture of my outfit so I'm wearing the outfit again I did just a normal face I took my hair out this morning after I two strand twisted it so it has a little bit of volume now it's a little crinkly I love it that way uh, the lip is Fenty MVP the earrings are Fumi the label let's go to the mirror so I can so I can show you the rest of my look and sorry if the light is not the best okay so here's my look i'm wearing this awake mode blazer um from that was a collaboration with and other stories it has an open back it's definitely giving like mugler vibes um i love this blazer the jeans are actually mugler i've had these for a few years but they've come in really really handy lately and i think they are making a version of these for H&M but these are like the true versions of them and I love them the shoes are old they are um, like a mule with a sharp point from Margiela I've had these for a long time they're not available the bag is Prada this was gifted by Prada Beauty I already told you about the face and the earrings so that's the look we're gonna head off and I'm gonna take you guys with me of course let's go
It is a brand new day. I'm still here in Harlem. Uh, you guys, I had so much fun at the Mugler H&M event. It was great. It was a, sh a fashion show as well as like a concert. There were three different artists who performed. There was a dance troupe. And I saw all my friends, Kelly Augustine, um, who else? Karen Britchick, uh, Unique, um, Chelsea. Uh, of course, I Ching, we saw her. I loved her queen headpiece. Um, just all the people. And then I ended up linking with um, Janae. And um, yeah, we all just had a really good time. Uh, we ended up going to dinner after. And then I came home. Uh, and then today, I got a beautiful gift from Mugler and H&M. They sent me over a new fragrance. I'll show you guys in a moment. But I'm up bright and early because I have a campaign with Valentino Beauty. They have a beauty bus that's going to be down in Soho for the next week, I believe. And then after that, I think it moves out to uh, a different place. I'll put the addresses down below if you're in New York. Definitely go check it out. But I am working with them on a TikTok and some stories. And so I have to go down there and check it out. Um let me show you what i got in from mugler h&m they are so sweet to send me a gift like i was not expecting this at all and then we'll get into my outfit and then we'll head to soho which i'm excited about because i've been wanting to shop y'all so after we get this campaign done we're gonna do a little shopping all right y'all so mugler sent me this beautiful bouquet and it was specially messengered over this morning how beautiful it has tulips in it which is one of my favorite flowers and white roses and like these blue i don't know what the blue things are but how cute it's nice to have like fresh flowers in here um because i'm not often here so amazing and then they sent me over this let's get into it uh Mugler. i have a beautiful card here they're always so sweet i'm gonna read it says Monroe thank you for celebrating with us last night the Mugler H&M launch event um, in addition to the new Mugler H&M fashion collection we would love for you to experience the newest fragrance from Mugler fragrances Angel Elixir Eau de Parfum um, it's a woody floral gourmand 
scent featuring keynotes of pink pepper jasmine sandalwood and vanilla enjoy the Mugler fragrance team uh you guys know i live for the Mugler fragrances they are very unique and a little strange which i like because that means that not a lot of people are going to wear them and it has some of my favorite notes in it with the sandalwood vanilla and woody i love a woody scent so yeah if you want to check this out i'll link it down below i've already opened it I've already used it <laughs> in fact I'm gonna mix it with uh, what I just sprayed on earlier but look at this bottle how beautiful and I believe that's why they sent over the beautiful roses that are blue because the bottle is blue as well it's not picking up the blue color on screen but it's a beautiful vibrant blue when the light hits this little star Let's spray a little bit of this yeah this is this could definitely be like unisex which i like you guys know i love a masculine fragrance oh wow it smells so good okay i'm linking it down below check it out and shout out to the Mugler team for sending this over and for inviting me to the the show i had such a good time um also i'll put details down below for you for you to shop the collection as well but, and I'll show you some of my favorite things. But yeah, that is super, super sweet of them. All right, guys. So I have a pretty simple face today. Ooh, I'm blown out. Um, I did more pink on my eyes and a, just a gloss on the lip since, you know, it is Valentino and Valentino is known for their Valentino pink. So I'm wearing this Zara bodysuit and I paired it with my Jacquemus pink uh pants i've had these for so so long but they are that valentino pink so i thought it would be good to kind of center my content around that as well i'm gonna check out the bus i'm gonna take you guys with me show you what they have on there put the dates down below i believe this video will they will still be there when this video goes live yeah so i'm just gonna continue to get myself together then i'll show you the full look and then we will head to soho we're gonna eat somewhere we're gonna do some shopping it's gonna be good all right guys here's the look zara top super old jacquemus pink pants i love these uh the boots are old celine and i put on these earrings that i picked up in miami they're so fun i'm gonna toss my acne leather jacket over top grab my bottega bag and we are off they sent me an uber code which i love because getting around new york city is expensive <laughs> very very expensive um so yeah let's go to soho
got some Starbucks sitting on this bench. This lighting is horrible. Okay, got some Starbucks sitting on this bench about to finish editing my TikTok for Valentino. It's really, really cool. I ran into a subscriber. Hey girl, hey. Um, she's gonna be at my panel tomorrow too. So that's awesome that I ran into her on the street. So I have to finish this and send it to the brand because they want it to go live today. So thank goodness I brought my headphones uh, because the turnaround is something fierce. And it's such a beautiful day in uh, Soho, like you guys such a beautiful day all right guys just finished with my tiktok i crushed it i must say i did that now we are in soho it's a stunning day let's go shopping i want to pop in zara i want to go to cult gaia definitely definitely want to check out what goes around comes around and the real real uh let's go guys back from doing my valentino um collaboration which was really really fun checking out the beauty pop-up bus um they're gonna be in soho until april 30th so i'll put all of the details down below what streets they'll be on and such if you're in new york check them out i just put on my zara top my favorite and other stories jeans they did not come ripped like this I've had them so long they ripped but every time I wear them people are like link the jeans link the jeans they're no longer made I did link them like three years ago when I got them though so it pays to go ahead and get the things that I tell y'all to get because <laughs> I do wear my clothes and I wear them over and over and over um I'm about to eat some lunch and go hang out with my girl Alicia if you are a long time subscriber y'all know my girl Alicia um she had a baby and i'm gonna go chill with them we're gonna take a little walk at the park um and then i don't know what i'm doing i think i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when i'm heading to the nyc times closed studios like panel and i'll i'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of that panel that should be fun it's in brooklyn uh but let's eat you guys know anytime i come to harlem i have to order field trip harlem because it's so good and they have like pretty healthy uh bowls and i love the beef bowl uh it comes with this avocado cilantro sauce that is incredible here it is yum let's eat hey y'all so today is the day that I'm doing my like chat panel with New York City Times Close Studios in Brooklyn today. So I woke up, got myself together. The panel starts at noon. It's about 10.45 now. I'm actually going to head out at about 10.50 because it will probably take me an hour to get that deep into Brooklyn. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to meet a lot of my subscribers and followers i actually ran into one yesterday who's also going to be at the panel um it's always nice to put actual faces to handles and because i do uh respond to almost i would say 97 percent of my comments whether that's on youtube instagram TikTok, i i know people's handles <laughs> if i've seen them before so this will be really, really great. Hopefully I can get some footage for you guys. 
so you can kind of see what it, what it's about i just sprayed on three different perfumes <laughs> first byredo wild that freak one of my all-time favorites smells like love and then i mix that with the vanille from soli notes i got this from jc penny beauty i'll be sure to link this down below because this is quite affordable smells exactly like vanilla kind of sweet like you are just edible uh and then i mix that with the yes i am uh by chaturel sorry if i'm not pronouncing that correctly but the bottle of this is so cute again this was another gift that i got from jc penny beauty when they opened up their beauty store in brooklyn last month and i attended so i will link all three of those down below i just love the mixture of them they smell so good um so my outfit i have on the same shirt from yesterday <laughs> because it goes with everything and literally i only brought one shirt from the, from uh miami i have on my awake mode skirt my timbaland uh boots and my Bottega earrings I did a very everyday natural face I'm gonna put some gloss on but not until I get there uh, and then I'm gonna wear my YSL jacket and carry my Jody bag in fact let me go ahead and get ready because it's almost 10 45 I'll show you the full outfit and then we will head to Brooklyn I love that my hair is really big today hmm. all right guys here is the full look Zara top um, Saint Laurent uh teddy jacket this awake mode skirt which i absolutely love uh don't mind the neighborhood yeller i believe everyone in new york has one um awake mode skirt and my timbaland high heel boots these were a collaboration uh i believe they still have them too then of course i'm going to carry my jody bag take my phone yeah let's Head to Brooklyn. We're here guys at NYC Times Studios. It's so cute in here. Hi, it's so Welcome cute. To NYC and yes, you can rent this place out yes. for content. Yep. The girls have been shooting here, you know, they've been done like podcasts, like movies. Oh, very videos. cool. I'm like, yep. Got a bow and everything. Very cute. <laughs> Have a little bar. Mm -hmm. How cute. Have all the little things to set up your content. This is such a great idea. So this is where the chat is, guys. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> TikTok is your jam, then just make sure you're posting a TikTok every other day. And then also, 
if it's something like a home decor, which I just did, I'll do a blog post as well because those pictures do well on Pinterest. And people will find the picture on Pinterest and the Pinterest will go back to my website when they click and then I get people on my website. And so for photos, I always link it to my Pinterest because Pinterest is the number one search engine yeah. in the world, yeah. followed by YouTube. Wow. So if you have your photos somewhere, like a website, and you can pin that, then people find that photo, they come to your, your website. That's really, I get a huge amount of traffic from Pinterest, even from photos that are like eight years old. Wow. Whatever, whatever your process is, what tools do you use, if any, to manage, like your shooting schedule, your oh, concepts, okay. like all the big three? I don't like okay. school. Okay, I'm not gonna write it down. Baby. <laughs> That's it. Right, so, and you've been very successful, and I know you still have that trajectory to keep going. So how are you? How do you navigate through that without feeling imposter syndrome or, or feeling burnt out or like, am I not good enough? Like, I'm on your mood board, but you're not even picking me. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? I have such an amazing group of just women who, like you, we be in the DMs, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and we all really support each other. And I feel like if I didn't have someone like a, a Janae or a Karen or like I needed someone to talk to. You have to have someone. <laughs> you should want to do it for you. Like I could not not vlog. Like I don't care if nobody can treat my mom. If just one person, that's enough. It might be my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. But it has to it has to be that kind of passion that it, even if you don't succeed, it's fine because you're fulfilling something. Hey y'all, so I am back from the workshop with NYC X Clothes. Um, uh, and it was just so great like a, a few of you showed up who are viewers of the channel and it was just so much love and I really enjoy being able to give back and impart some of the wisdom that I've learned along the way becoming a content creator to others so yeah it was really really cool definitely check them out if you are in the New York City area they have workshops all the time with notable influencers and just people who are very knowledgeable about their fields sorry my food is done um, i'm starving so i'm about to eat but that is it for this vlog if you guys enjoyed the video please help your girl out and give me a thumbs up you can do it from your tv just hit the up and the over button uh if this is your first time joining or if you've just been a silent watcher without subscribing go ahead and subscribe it'll help me out and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video Thank you guys so much for watching, for following along between Miami and New York, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.